Jesus has awesome power. I love that phrase, I am, I am, I am. Constant, present Jesus Christ. David Crowder, a friend of ours and, and a gifted songwriter, has written a little song about this. He's just come out, listen to the chorus. When everything that you were holding on to is gone, you will find that he has been holding on to you all along. This is just a really a powerful moment. Let's be real. When we backslide, someone say, I've done that. When we backslide, let's keep in mind who we're backsliding from. Jesus has full knowledge. Jesus has awesome power. Jesus has, it's going to get even better here. Check this. They drew back and fell to the ground. So he asked them, Who, whom do you seek? And they said, Jesus, the Nazarene is pejorative. Jesus answered, I told you that I'm he. I guess this was when they were dusting themselves off. I told you that I'm he. If you seek me, let these men, what a shepherd, right? What a shepherd to step out in front of his disciples. Let these men go. I'm the one you want. Let all these go. Just love him, love him. I told you that I'm he, so if you seek me, let these men go. This was to fill the word, fulfill the word that he had spoken of those whom you gave me. I've lost no, known, not one. Then Simon Peter, uh, having a <laughs> why, why did he have a sword? What on, earth, what on earth is it? Come on up here, we're going to act this out. What on, earth, what on earth is a fisherman doing with a sword? This is, this is crazy. It's like, don't try this at home. So i just, I got to get this right. Hold still, I'll be as kind as I can. Now Simon Peter, having a sword, drew it and struck the high priest's servant. Like, how bad are you at killing to hit his ear? So, first of all, if there's 600 to 12, how, tell me, man, at 612, how good should the first shot be? It's going to get really messy after this, so make a good play. And so, I mean, I, this guy should have been in half. I won't do it. Go ahead. You're all good. It's all good. I, I, I practiced a couple of times. It didn't go good. I'm not going to try it. He cut off his right ear. Interesting. The other Gospels tell us, it's almost like there's a little competitiveness between John and Peter under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit because the other Gospel writers uh, tell us not that it was Peter, only John tells us it's Peter. The other Gospel writers tell us that Jesus healed his ear and put it back on. John, John didn't tell us that part. The Holy Spirit didn't lead him to tell us that part. It's just interesting, curious, I would say. The servant's name was Malchus. Maybe he got saved, right? Remember, this was written for the early church. Why would they put his name in? Maybe they put his name in because he's going to be in the Bible study going, that's me. So it's just awesome to think that maybe he found the Lord in the healing of the Lord. I won't have you put up your hand, but a lot of people listening to me right now on all of our campuses, there's people out in Elgin and Niles right now who are like, that's how I found the Lord. I, he healed me. So Jesus said to Peter, Put your sword into its sheath. Shall I not drink the cup that the Father has given to me? Now, if you know your Gospels very well, you know that just minutes before Jesus was praying, um, Father, take this cup away from me. And then he was praying, if it's possible, take this cup away from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but your will be done. Then it says he went away and prayed a third time, like the first and second time. So something along the lines of, if there's no other way, take this cup away from me, but your will be done. Interesting how through prayer, listen, you get to a place of total surrender. 